Hey guys, my name's Sam and welcome to PrepMedic. In this week's video, we are walking through the IT clan. Before we get started, need to give a special shout out to Skinny Medic. He actually sent me both of these IT clamps. Uh, if you don't know, he's got his own store, Medical Gear Outfitters, and they've been a huge supporter of this channel. So if you're looking to pick this up or some other supplies, I will leave an affiliate link down below, and he was kind enough to send these out. Uh, so go give him a follow and check out his page if you haven't already. So the IT clamp is a much debated device. It's really cool, but it's kind of been searching for an indication since it came out. It recently got Committee for Tactical Combat Casualty Care approved for use of hemorrhage on the neck and the scalp, generally in care under fire. So what this device is, is this is a clamp that has teeth on either end of it, and you put these on either side of a massive wound, and you squeeze this together, and it will act as basically like a quick stitch. It will hold the wound together, hold it solid until they can get something more definitive. So the device itself is made of plastic, on the outside, you'll notice that there are four spikes on either end, and then there's, they're staggered, so then there's holes where the opposite spikes will go into when it comes together completely. On either side, you have these red buttons, and if you push them together, you can actually open this once it's been ratcheted in all the way. You can open it back up with the use of those buttons. The thought is that while this closes the skin above it, this will create a pocket underneath, it will continue bleeding a little bit, but that pressure will eventually stop the bleeding underneath this device. Occasionally, you'll have to use two of these if the wound's really long, but generally speaking, one will be enough. So why this is nice for your head and your neck. On your neck, you traditionally pack the wound and then we have to put an occlusive dressing over it to keep any kind of air from getting in there, getting an air embolus traveling to the brain. However, this will allow us to treat that a little bit quicker. Obviously, we can't wrap circumferentially around the neck, so we can't do a ton of pressure and just leave it. It's very hard to wrap. So putting this on will save some time with that. Same with your scalp wounds. While scalp wounds bleed a lot, they look really dramatic. Uh, and generally, the way we treat these in the pre-hospital setting is we take some gauze, we put it on top of it, and then we give them this Aunt Jemima wrap around their head, around their chin, keep that in place. That's great on an ambulance where time is our friend, but for care under fire, combat situations, you know, you time is of the essence. This is much faster and easier to get that bleeding under control. Don't have to mess with a wrap or anything like that. They advertise this to use on the arm or the leg. I would recommend against that. If you have massive hemorrhage on the arm or the leg, I would recommend going with a tourniquet or wound packing. So really, I think the only application for this is going to be the neck and the head. Otherwise, it's kind of searching for a indication there. I don't think it really should be used for your extremity hemorrhages for those reasons. There are quicker, more effective options out there. Uh, all in all, this will cost you about $37 for one of these. It comes in this packaging here. So it's not the smallest thing ever. It's not going to fit on your ankle IFAC or anything like that but it will be an interesting addition to your kit, and it's definitely something that I would recommend checking out if you're in the market for something where you have to uh, easily clamp a neck wound or a head wound. One additional potential issue I see with this is that once you apply this to somebody, it sticks out. So if you put this on somebody's head and it gets bumped, it would be really easy to rip this out of the skin. I'm not saying that will necessarily happen, but it is something to look out for. If you have any questions about this product or anything else, please leave them in the comments down below and I will see you next week.